Alright, my name is Voltwolf, also known as Kid Takashi, if you know me on Divine Art. And again, uh, Voltwolf on YouTube, and, uh, t -t 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 yeah, there it is, Kid Takashi. Uh, Kid Takashi on Divine Art. Um, this is a basic Photoshop tutorial on how to make comics, uh, the way I do. And, yeah, that's the basic idea of it. <laughs> so, this is what, uh what the comic will start out to look like after I've cut out each piece of the thing and paste it into the new file and it's not that clean as you can see so I'll take the magic eraser tool as you can see and I'll get rid of the, the grayish that looks in the background uh, just to clean it up a bit because I hate the way it looks though I guess it may not matter but I guess it's self-preference, so I clean up each part of the picture, so yeah, I'll clean up the inside, sometimes I rarely ever do that though, only depending on how good it's scanned and whatever, so yeah, clean, 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 <laughs> if, um, this is for, this is, um, a comic of my uh, active comic at the moment, um, ever changing. You may not know it since I haven't really advertised it on YouTube. <laughs> if you're from, uh, Divine Art, you probably, well, you may know it at least. Or you've seen pages. Uh, so the main character uh, is on the right, uh, zoom down, on the right, as you can see. The one with the, who looks like a dog. Um, her, the character's name is Apple, and, well, it's the, one of the main characters. And you can probably guess who it's based off of, if you're on YouTube. So, and the character on the left is, a uh, recent character design. Uh, the character's name at the moment is Kiari. Uh, you're probably not gonna know who it is, since, well, actually it's not even based off anyone. So, random character. Uh but will be seen later in the story. So, anyways, I probably should get back to the comic, I mean the tutorial. Anyways, as you can see, I'm using the magic eraser tool to clean it up, and if you look on the right, I'm almost done since it's at the bottom. These are, uh, this was my old style of drawing, um, I've, it's a bit similar, my new style is a bit, is mostly similar, but a bit better in, a uh, human anatomy, since I kind of sucked with it. Alright, so this is what it looks like when it's fully clean, or mostly clean, whatever you want it, to, you know, whatever your takes on it is. So, it's all clean up, and, whoa, very bad quality, as it moves up and down. Yeep. Uh, this is Hypercam I'm using record, so it's not that good, I suppose. Would use Fraps, but apparently it doesn't record on desktop. So, mm. anyways, uh, so I will make a another group above line art called Text and Framework, and this is because I want to put those two together since there's really not that much in that folder. Um, Framework is what I refer to as the frames, which uh, hold the drawings in, I would guess. Not every drawing is in a frame, though. And, whoa, very bad quality. Uh, and I'll also make text framework to contain the text. And I, the way I get uh, the borders and whatever is via the stroke setting, as you can see, and blending options. And uh, for normal framework, I'll make it black and make the it 5 pixels and uh, text framework 3 pixels so there's a bit of a difference <laughs> um, so now I'll do the actual framework and as you can see I don't put it on each frame since it looks a bit weird on some frames and you don't want to have it on every one well my way you don't want to uh, maybe I shouldn't have that one I don't, want I don't know who cares so I'll go down again and yeah, I'll skip it. This one, I believe. Yeah, skip it. 
then I'll put frames around these two ones. It depends on what, if there's really a background, a large background, I won't do it. And sometimes, if there is no background, I actually won't do it as well. Uh, I try to keep a pattern to it, even though it's there's really no pattern. <laughs> uh, so that'll be another one, and... Small, as you can see, small pictures like that, those are the ones I put in frames. And a little wide, small wide one. I don't remember if I... Yeah, I did. And a one with a design like that, I won't put in a frame. And I'll go back up and review it. Yeah. Looks cool. Looks fades. Doesn't do that in Photoshop, though. Alright, so that's part one, and the second part to the tutorial will hopefully follow soon after, and maybe a three. Alright, ciao!